Obviously from the title of this video, you know that I am going to be doing a video about the time the side chick held us down. Okay, so I have to go back in time and then forward back. Y'all know how that is. So this story starts off my junior year of, or let's just say my senior year of high school. I had been dating this guy for a year around the time that I was leaving for college. And our relationship, obviously when you're much older and more mature, you know if a relationship back then was really good or if it wasn't. So our relationship was some crap. But, you know, being the female I was and being naive and young and all of that, I obviously try to remain in this relationship so our relationship really started to deteriorate when it was time for me to leave for college um a lot of people from where i went to high school and stuff a lot of people do not leave the area they kind of just stay within the area and a lot of people, you don't really see too many people branch off and go other places. And I've never been that person. I always wanted to go to college far, far away. And my boyfriend did not understand why I had to go away. Like, oh, there's so many colleges here in the Maryland area. Why do you have to go away? That's just who I was. You know, I if y'all watch my vlogs, y'all know I'm all over the place. So, um, obviously, our relationship was starting to not be as great as it was because I was starting to leave. So a few days before I left for college, um, I had a going away party with some friends. And then like the day after our going away party was our um, one year anniversary. And you know, I was expecting to go out and do stuff. We did nothing at all. So I only saw him for about a minute before I left for college and yep. Yeah. So when I got to college, we try to make it work, but he just could not handle the fact that I went to school hours away. And I just feel like if you're in a relationship, I don't care if the person's in Cambodia, Cambodia, y'all can make that relationship work. You know, I just feel like there's too much technology and anything is along those lines that can make a relationship work yes it will be hard but whatever so we try to make it work and we just decided that we were going to be friends and the type of person i am i always try to be friends with exes back in the day i don't know what my issue with that is but we try to remain friends and going out through the semester he would tell me that he found a new girl and yada 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 i'll tell him oh i'm happy for you and i also got into a relationship as well my freshman year of college so we were good but i had to cut him off because he would like i don't know like he would just start randomly hitting me up and say things like oh i miss you i love you she's not you yada 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 and i'm just like Oh, okay, we have to stop this. So for the longest, him and I ceased communication. We did not talk, you know, it was a while. So my junior year of um, of college, I went home for Christmas break and I had just got my Honda. I don't know how we got back into communication. I think I hit him up and said happy holidays or something like that. I don't, I don't, I'm not really, I don't really remember. But we got back into communication. I asked him, hey, you want to ride with me to the DMV so I can get my plates and stuff like that. So while we rode out to the DMV, we had a good conversation. And I'm just thinking in the back of my mind, like, he seems to have matured a lot and i just want to put in a shameless plug right here it's not even a plug but i just want to let y'all know an ex is an ex for a reason i don't care if y'all met 20 years ago that person still has similar qualities for the same reason for probably why you guys broke up but you know obviously he was much older at this point it had been what three going on four years since we were last together and everything we spent the day to together and it was just it was great so um later on that day i was leaving to go to jersey for um christmas with my family and my mom and everything and um i think i had texted him while i was on the road and just let him know like you know i don't know why but i'm starting to feel you again he was like i was literally about to text you again and let you know that i was feeling you as well so you know we started to talk and then he was like oh when you get back to um maryland we're gonna go out on a date and i just want to treat you like the special person that you are and i'm just like oh my gosh like he's really matured because when we were together in high school he had his license and everything we never went any we never went anywhere i think throughout that one year that we were get together we only went to the mall once and we went to the hood mall like out of all the malls to go to and don't get me wrong there are a lot of good malls within the baltimore area he took me to the most hoodest one i don't even think that still exists but whatever 
So, you know, I was like, okay, let's, we're going to go out and stuff like that. And basically, you know, we talked the whole time while um, I was in Jersey. And it was just like, oh, he's so sweet. That, that, that nonsense. So we got back, but me and my mom got back really, really late that night. So, therefore, we couldn't go out on a date, but we just hung out. I think we went. We did something. I think we went to get, like, ice cream or something like that from, like, McDonald's. Because, I mean, that was the only thing open. But we just hung out, and it was great. So, the next day, I left for um, to go back to Liberty. And he asked me, like, how are we supposed to make this work? And I just told him, like, you know, Liberty's not that far. We can really make this work. We both drive. You know, we, we can make this work. And I said, I like a stupid fool. I was like, I will try my hardest to make it up to Maryland twice a month. I, I promise you that much. As to why I had to be the one to constantly drive back and forth, I don't know, but whatever. So, you know, I would um, leave Thursday after my two o'clock class. I would just hop on the road, drive back to Maryland and just spend time with him. So I would get there Tuesday. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I would leave early Monday morning because I only had class Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, you know, obviously I was taking a lot of time out of my day driving work you know like taking time off of work just making sure that i'm there to make this relationship work you know when i'm in a relationship i'm full force i feel like i need to give somebody my all but you know the stupid thing about me is i was giving my all to people that didn't deserve it so um you know this happened okay so we let's just say we started back up around january and you know i was going back and forth i probably made about 10 trips to maryland from like February from January to March around that time and you know mind y'all the whole time that I've been in college I never went home that much I still don't go home that much so my mom was just like oh y'all must really be trying to make things work yada yada because I never see you home like that I'm like yeah I guess but most of the time when I would come home I would come home angry because we would argue over stupid stuff and my mom was like I'm not going to tell you what to do but don't you think that if he's going to make you this angry that it's not worth it and obviously I would still at the point where I was not ready to be mature I was 21 years old you know not re not really to the point where I was really ready to be mature let's just basically put it that way so um I saw him a little bit before his birthday his birthday's in March mine's in April and then I went to spring break so I wasn't coming back home before that time or no, I came back home for Easter. I lied. I came back home for Easter, and we hung out, and we did our things. And, you know, every time I would ask him about his ex-girlfriend, like, where's she at? You know, how, how did y'all end things? Because y'all were literally together my freshman year of college till about earlier this year. What, Where's she at? I just know exes don't disappear like that. So he was just like, you know, we we not good. I, I don't really F with her like that. It, it ended up bad. She pulled my hair, yada, yada, yada. It, it's just, he, he said the typical things guys would say to make a female stay. So, you know, basically around... April, my mom was coming for my birthday. It was my 22nd, yeah, my 22nd birthday. My mom was coming down. I was having a dinner and all that good stuff. So I wanted him to come down too. And I was telling all my friends, oh, my man gonna come down. Y'all finally gonna meet him. Yada, yada, you know. So I tried to set it up. I think he had it very, really easy. All he had to do was get in the car with my mom and, you know, hand her some gas money. He, he would have a ride instead of driving himself or getting on a bus plane you, you know all those good stuff so i kept asking him and every time he'll just be like mm, i don't know can your mom wait till this time i don't know yeah every excuse that you can think about you know was given and it's just like it's not fair like it's my birthday why can't you come down here but anyways i promise i'm getting to the point y'all so um throughout the time now I managed to find his ex-girlfriend's ex -girlfriend's Twitter. And y'all know how females are. We find things. Don't nobody lie. You know we inspector gadget. So I found her Twitter and I would see things along the lines of, oh, he's amazing. Thanks, thanks G for this. Or G pay my phone bill. G paying phone bills, but G can't even give me gas money when I come down there. G can't even, when we go to dinner or something, G can't even pay. So what? G what? You know, and it just, it just 
annoys me every time I think about it because it's just like I'm the one in school. I'm the one. I have to bust my butt at school. I'm working all these hours, and it's just like you work three, three or four jobs, and you can't even give me a dollar. Or when we go out to eat, you can't even drive to the restaurant. Or you know what I'm saying? So what the hell is she talking about? So I would constantly hit him up like, "What is this? What is this? What is this?" And he would obviously not have any replies or oh she's just tripping and I even went as far as to follow her on um Instagram and saw that she had him as her man crush Monday and I'm like of course I commented under it and I'm just like that's funny we have the same man crush Monday and you know that turned into a big old deal he hit me up why would you hit her up why would you do that no why why are you on somebody else's Instagram help me understand that so anyways back to my birthday time and everything like that she i don't remember exactly what the the tweet said but she said something along the lines that had his name in it so this is not no general assumption or anything i hit her up and i like i tweeted her and i'm just like you know i said something along the lines of oh that's funny or yada 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 so we went back and forth on twitter for a little bit and then she had hit my phone y'all this is just ridiculous. She started texting me and was just like, what's your issue with me, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, why are you around? Why is my man on your Instagram? Why, uh, what are you doing? You know that we're together. And she's like, yeah, I know we're together, y'all together. So I'm like, so what, do you, what is your issue? You know, most of the time, most females will be like, I didn't know y'all together or, you know, that's my man. No, she told me, I know that's your man, but you know, and she was just like, honey, what you don't understand is when you come to Maryland, I pack up all my stuff and leave out of his house, his mama house, by the way, <laughs> I leave out his house. And when you're gone that night or whatever, I come back to his house. And I'm like, I'm just looking at my phone. Like, is she serious? Like, she's basically telling me like, I'm the side chick and I'm okay with that. And then she was just like, you know, while you're down in college, I'm holding our man down. You, a moment of silence real fast, y'all. She holding who man down? Like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, I'm holding him down. I'm holding our man down. When you're not around, I'm the one that does this, that, that, that. But please believe when you're around, I will respectively give you your space. And I'm like, why are you okay with, why are you okay with being a side chick? Uh, you know, this is how we always been, yada, yada, yada. Just all this mumbo jumbo. And then she went and started to let me know like, oh, he's not coming to, um, he's not coming to your birthday. Don't let him lie to you. I'm not letting him come. His mom wants him to go to Philadelphia, yada, yada, yada. And I'm, I'm at this point, I'm just screenshotting the shit, excuse my French, sending it back to him and asking him what's up. And of course he don't know what to say. Oh, you know, she just, just saying all this other stuff. And I'm like, do you really think it's okay for her to be, I guess our side chick because I don't even know what to call it and he's just like no she's tripping she lying she doing all this so comes my birthday time and you know my mom's ready to go hit him up nothing he gives some stupid excuse that oh he's going somewhere and then the next thing I know she's sending me pictures of him them laying together and y'all it <laughs> it's just ridiculous and I mean I eventually I let I condoned the relationship. We broke up, but I still allowed him in my life. You know, didn't cut him off or anything along those lines. And we talked for the longest. And finally, finally, like earlier this year, I cut him off completely. Like no communication with, with him whatsoever. He may or may not still be in my Instagram DMs, but nobody's answering him. Anyways, the moral of the story is don't let no side chick be in your relationship. And what's really sad is, in today's day and age, in 2015, side chicks are a huge part of relationships. And I know that sounds crazy, but I want to I want y'all to sit down and really think about a time where a side chick was not involved. Okay. You can't think of one, can you? <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this story time video. If you want to see more crazy ex-boyfriend stories, just let me know. Comment down below. And I hope y'all have a great day.